Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be taking a look at a 2023 set. This is the Bazaar Battleground. Now this, as far as I know, is not technically released yet, but some dude on Mercari ended up getting some early or somehow, I don't really know. Um, and True Savage over in Discord gave me the tip that they were available so I went ahead and I grabbed actually both sets. So I'll be reviewing both. And then I think I'm going to be comparing the two uh, just so we can kind of see how they stack up to each other. So big thanks to True Savage for letting me know that these were out there. I think some listings have been popping up elsewhere as well. I don't know if it was eBay or just a different seller on Mercari. But here it is. This is is a really interesting set because it's basically like the marine gear pack and the spartan customizer from the first infinite wave except we just have two figures and these are very multiplayer spartan focused so the packaging features the new mega style you can see everything pretty well um we have some extra parts down here but for the most part everything is very visible you get to see the ai's the new weapons, the new helmet, the new chest plate. And then around the back, we get to see that this set can be combined with the new uh, Mongoose. That set I have on order from Amazon. It has not shipped yet. But we can basically use the pieces included in this set to turn the Mongoose into a Gungoose, which is pretty cool. I love that idea. And then we'll see this later, but this also has other parts for the mongoose. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. So as usual with these blister packs, it's pretty much impossible to keep them in nice shape when you open them, which it, again, I've said this many times, but I don't personally care. Uh, I just rip it all anyway. Okay, so what was the point of giving me that pull tab if this was just the same difficulty to open? We have one Spartan, two Spartan, red Spartan, blue Spartan. No, we don't actually have red Spartans and blue Spartans. Uh, actually, I wonder if somebody's done that. Dr. Seuss, but it's Halo. Shoulder pads. I'm always worried I'm going to send little pieces like flying. Ooh, we got to talk about this in a little bit. Wait, what? There's a... Alright, we got some more pieces. I think this is just the stands and the turret parts. Got instructions. More shoulders. Ah! Heads. Oh, look at that new helmet. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then we have an Anubis. We have a Hermes in white, which we've gotten before. It would have been nice to get it in tan, but... I can't start complaining before I even get all this out. Ugh. Bulldog. Ooh, pulse rifle. Yes. Oh, can I just get the rest of this off? Look at that. Intact. Collector ready. Got our AIs. Oh, how do I get these out? Ugh. Eh. Good grief. That is hard. New uh, sidekick mold. We'll look at that closer in a bit. Got a plasma pistol and another AI. Okay, so that is everything out of the package. Let me organize this a bit and we will take a closer look. There we go. Everything is all kind of laid out in a little bit more of an orderly fashion. The little turret is built. So let's go ahead and take a closer look, starting with the green side first. So this is the stone green armor coating. I thought it was a little weird at first that we were getting green with a white head. And then I looked it up and found out that this is actually pretty accurate because there is a coating like this. Now, I got to say, as excited as I am for this set, right off the bat, I am pretty disappointed with the quality control. First of all, here we go, our AI. I don't know the names of the AIs. Well, I do, but I don't know which name goes to who. So if you guys can tell me in the comments which AI this is, uh, I would appreciate it. 
But this looks fantastic. I love the way they did this. There's a little uh, handle to make it look like it's projecting from the Spartan's hand. And obviously you could attach this to maps if you build like a multiplayer map or something. Really good idea. And then we also have the new sidekick. Here it is compared to the old sidekick. The new one looks so much better. It's beefier. It's a little longer. And it just actually looks like a weapon I would like to have on my Spartans. This one, I don't use any of my sidekicks. They're just bad. I don't... Meh. Maybe they'll be fine on Call of Duty figures, but I don't like this sidekick at all. This new one looks great. I do like this a lot. Uh, it's kind of funny, though. It looks so small in Spartan hands. And speaking of Spartan hands, yeah, here it is again. I have had to fix so many figures lately with this issue. And it's not just on the one hand. It's on both. I'm so happy. And then on top of that, the visor print for the Mark 7 is absolutely garbage. Like, this is atrocious. Like, what is going on? I, I'm particularly disappointed with this because I was really looking forward to getting this uh, Mark 7, the white Mark 7 head, because it looks really cool in white. But this is just bad. It's just, yeah, kind of really bummed about that. So we're just going to take that head off for now. I can fix the hand thing. I can't really fix the head without just making a whole visor repaint. Uh, the chest piece is a new piece, just the front, not the back. But the front piece looks really nice, very sharp, plenty of details. I really want to see this on a Halo Heroes fig at some point. So we get some print on there, but as it is, it looks really nice. We also do get a green Mark 7 chest, and we also get uh, this one in green. I don't know what this one's called. I don't know if this is specifically Trailblazer or if it's Mark 7 with attachments or Anubis or what, but we get that. We also get a pair of these shoulders in pale green. So close to being chief green. It would have been nice to be able to put these on chief, but alas, not yet. But those are nice to get. We also get a bulldog shotgun. Unpainted, but it's always nice to get bulldogs. They're a good piece. Uh, we get a couple different heads. So we have an Anubis, uh, an Anubis, and a Hermes. So let me pop the Hermes on there. Oh, crap. It's It doesn't want to stick on there. Another minus point in terms of quality control. I will have to... Holy crap. It put a line on the head? Me trying to squeeze it on? Um, Visor print looks pretty nice. It's not the Mark 7. I was really looking forward to the Mark 7, but that looks pretty nice. Let's see. Does the Anubis fit? Oh, my gosh. No, it doesn't. So, I guess I'm going to be sanding down this neck joint. This is looking worse and worse. Yikes. Uh, Print-wise, the Anubis looks pretty good. The white looks fairly decent. The seam is really visible for some reason, but visor looks okay. It's a little thin on this side, but overall, the Anubis is a good head. Uh, I'll probably end up using this one, to be honest. Even though the Hermes is great, it just looks like Kelly to me. So I'll be using this if I can get it to fit on there. And then we also get this belt. Now, this belt is a great piece. And I have one on one of my Marines. But there's really no way to properly use it on a Spartan. Because if we were to put it on the Spartan's waist... Whoa, come back here. Pop it on there. Uh, it's it's yeah it's huge it's absolutely massive and just kind of looks like a hula hoop but there's also no way to fit it slung this way without almost breaking the piece uh because the shoulders of the spartans are so tall it just doesn't work so i appreciate them including this i will be putting this on a marine as the spartans really can't use it so stone green armor coating Excellent, uh, theory-wise. Execution, lacking, Mega. This is bad. I don't, I don't care if Mega does all these great set ideas. If they come out and they're really terrible quality control, that kind of negates all of it, especially since customer service has been kind of MIA for months. 
I don't even know if I could get replacements. So, yeah. Um, I'll try to get replacements, but I doubt it's going to happen. Hopefully, our other figure isn't quite as bad. So I don't know if this is a particular armor coating or not. Uh, it's just kind of tan. It's this nice speckled tan, though. First of all, Pulse Rifle. A new weapon mold. It looks perfect. It literally looks perfect to me. I don't see anything that makes me go, Oh, Mega, you should have done this, that, or the other thing. It looks perfect. I think even size-wise, it's pretty darn good. I cannot wait to see some of these printed up. Really, really good. Super happy to see this finally. Uh, they're working their way through the weapon molds from Infinite. So really happy with that. We have another AI. Again, I don't know this one's name. Somebody tell me in the comments. But this one's round and blue. And then the figure um, itself comes by default with... Uh, oh, you know what? This figure comes by default as the normal version of the uh, purple overshield um, Zvezda from Halo Universe Series 1 blind bags. That's what this guy is. This is when he's, his overshield is turned off. That's pretty cool. Uh, really like the bulky look. Two security shoulders is great. This chest plate is great. The uh, Zvezda head is done pretty nicely. You know what? I want to get in a little closer. There we go. You can see it a little better. There is a blue visor under there. Looks pretty good. Again, this makes me think of a Gundam head or something with the way that the... Um, well, that's blurry. With the way that's set up. Some print on the sides, some print on the back. That print on the back looks pretty good. Uh, the one from... Which one was it? The Fiesta one was kind of splotchy, but that looks pretty good. And then we also have a chest plate with all the shells personally i really don't like when mega does these unprinted uh we've had blind bag figures with these printed so i don't really see why they skipped out this time or on any other time that they skipped out on printing this it just looks weird without print but they give us this option which is nice we can go reach style they give us the waist piece to go along with it and also a pair of mark 7 shoulders and then a, whoa, it just went flying. How did I manage that? A trailblazer helmet. That visor is actually really nice. I like that a lot. It's pretty slick. Honestly, this whole thing looks really good. All the print looks pretty sharp. And overall, just really well done. I'm, I'm impressed, actually. And then this helmet. This is a brand new helmet. This is the uh, helmet that Spartan Agrina uses. Uh, I don't... Do we know the name of this yet? Oh, gosh. What the heck? Okay, wait. It actually went on there. Maybe I'll just leave it on there for a second, and it'll squish the ball joint down. Okay, that looks so cool. Like, the bulky look. Holy crap. That looks really good. That looks way better than I was expecting, actually. That's like... I'm getting really, really strong, like, Pacific Rim Jaeger vibes from this guy right now. The helmet mold is fantastic. It looks really good pretty much all the way around. I like the little attachment on the side. We have lots of nice print all over it. And for the most part, the print is done well. There's a little bit of weirdness going on with the visor over here. Actually, let me look at that real close. Yeah, it just looks like they missed some of those spots. But the rest of the visor is done pretty well. Good coverage all around, for the most part. That's just the one weird spot. Um, is that... No, there's not print there. Um, yeah, that's actually really good. I like that, even though the visor is a little weird, that one spot. This is a great combo. And then we have a plasma pistol to go along with it as well. The buffed plasma pistol, um, obviously... If you have all of the other plasma pistols in your collection, those are the nerfed, like really weak ones. So you got to buy this set to get the buffed plasma pistol mold. And then here is our Gungoose part pack, aka the turret for this set. There's really nothing in game that looks like this, 
but I think that's fine. It doesn't need to be super canonically accurate or anything. It's just a fun little set piece. The Spartan can hold it, and honestly, that looks pretty good. Uh, it looks pretty... I don't know. It, it looks solid. I was expecting it to be more lackluster or something, but it's pretty good. Let me see. Can I get him into a better, like, shooting pose? A little squatted down. There we go. Uh, you could articulate it on the base, but you can honestly just swivel a dude. And, yeah, you could stick that on any diorama. Get a couple of these. Set up a little blockade. Put some marines on there. Pretty good. Yeah. And the fact that this is essentially a transformation um, add-on pack for the Mongoose is pretty fantastic. Now, this is not really touted as a customizer pack, but because we get extra armor, we can make it a customizer pack. So I decided just for the heck of it to pop this head on here because this head is so nice. I want to be able to use it. And the um, white heads aren't the best. I did get the Anubis to fit and it worked out pretty well, but the problem with Anubis and the Mark VII chest plate is this back section bumps the back of the helmet and makes you can't allow any upward movement at all. So I popped it on this guy, and this actually looks kind of fantastic. Not going to lie. It looks really good. Um, it works out pretty well. Neck joint's a little stiff, but you get the movement. You can put the extra shoulders on there to add the rest of the color. Also, for some reason, I don't know why, but the <laughs> the oversized grenade belt is kind of growing on me. Like I sort of like it now after having it on here for a little bit. I don't know why. It's so goofy, but I kind of like it. I'm, I might leave it on there for a bit. Um, but yeah, this actually is great. And then obviously we could do similar things with this guy. I do really like him as is, but, you know, we could... Whoa, he took one of the handles. We could give him a green shoulder if we wanted to, something like that. And uh, something weird. Hang on. Where did where did the big... Oh, there it is. Something weird is we get one extra chest plate for the tan dude here, but we get two green chest plates, which is a little odd that one Spartan gets more pieces than the other. I don't really know why that is but it is. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. There is customization options, and this personally will become my uh, default setup for the green guy. Even though it's no longer the stone green coating, it looks pretty cool. And this guy I don't think is an official coating, so it's fine. Uh, I think the stone green was the only like official coating that was represented. Well, there you have it. That is the Bizarre Battleground set. So, concept-wise, this set is fantastic. Uh, it turned out less than fantastic, purely because quality control. Uh, th the hand problem is becoming more and more common. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're assembling the figures too quickly or too late, like letting the hands cool too much. or I don't, I don't know, but it's a problem. And then the visor prints are just dismal like the visor print for this is terrible absolutely terrible the only reason that this set is saved and why i'm not like really bashing on it is because of the customization options i was able to make two really awesome spartans and you know even though there was some quality control issues that made me not be able to do exactly what i wanted to do that's a problem um the green guy seemed to get most of it the tan dude, I think the only real issue that I can find is this arm is fairly loose, like in the elbow. Like, that's really loose. But that's an easy fix for me, and I don't really mind that too much. Obviously, the helmet had a little ding on the visor. And also, the the chest plate needed to be squashed together really hard. But that's that's kind of normal. I can let most of that slide. That was not good. I'm The fact that I have to fix both hands makes me mad because it's an annoying process it works but it's annoying if you don't know what i'm talking about i did a dust it off video about fixing hands like that so go watch that if you haven't already yeah not happy about that at all i am happy about the pulse rifle and the new 
sidekick and the AIs, particularly this yellow guy. He looks really funny. He's like the derp face emoji. And I love the compatibility with the Mongoose Outriders set. Um, I don't love the unprinted chest plate. So overall, overall, it's a really good set. I would say it's really, it's a solid set. It's got some awesome pieces. It's got new molds. The chest plate and the new helmet are fantastic. And like I said, for some reason, as goofy as it looks, I'm really digging the the, the big grenade belt. It's really just, I don't know, it's, it's working for me. Um, yeah, so without quality control errors, I would say this is a top-notch set. With the quality control errors, it's a mixed bag, but it's a mixed bag that's worth giving a try, I would say. Just keep in mind that if you get this, you may have to do some customizing, you may have to do some repairs, and that's really not what we want to see when it comes to brand new sets. But yeah, so I found mine on Mercari, like I said uh, earlier. It might be on eBay. It's not technically released yet, but I'm hoping that this will hit store shelves. Like, this looks like t something Target maybe would want to carry. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping this is not some sort of an exclusive. It doesn't seem like it's going to be, but we don't really know who's going to be selling it yet. We don't know how available it's going to be. So hopefully this will be something that people can readily get. It doesn't look like something the scalpers are going to want a ton. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the scalpers will just want to take everything. But there's no named characters or anything, so hopefully this will be easier to get because it's, it is worth it. I just hope that the quality control errors are not really, really widespread. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.